guys. Oh, this is too loud. How are you guys doing? Guys, give it up for yourselves for coming out here. This is Josh. Every Monday, Josh hosts an open mic night at a venue called The Bug House. I've been running it like four or five months. It's a pretty new mic. I'm listening to a lot of emo music lately. Any of you guys emo fans, huh? No? Cool. Uh, if you don't know what emo music is, it's when guys that look like me and are 24 sing about how they feel 15. It's real cool. I used to listen to a lot of emo music in middle school. It's weird because I used to listen to it and I would be like, wow, uh, it is so sad that this girl is ignoring this guy. Uh, and now I listen to emo music and I'm just like, wow, uh, it is terrifying that this guy is stalking this woman. <laughs> we have people that have been doing comedy in Chicago for like over 10 years come here. We have people doing comedy for the first time. Sometimes people from out of town will come through. It's pretty, pretty good mix, I'd say. The Nick Cocaine looks so cool on there. And it bothers me because the first time I ever do, did cocaine, it was probably the least cool way that anybody's ever done cocaine in their lives. I was at a party and I lost the people I was hanging out with and then I heard some loud laughter from upstairs, and I walked into a room with like four guys around the table with like a pile of cocaine, and I went like this, oh my, what are you guys doing? <laughs> and then one of them got up and went shh, and he had coke all over his fingers, and he just rubbed it around my mouth with his finger. <laughs> that was my first taste of the white stuff. It's almost all comics in the crowd, uh, but like, I think our reputation is a pretty like safe, like good place to try out new material and stuff. So it's definitely like not a hostile crowd. And even though it's all comics, they still generally pay attention. And the fact that it's like a theater and not a bar helps for sure, with them being like attentive and stuff. Text some pretty girls, you know what I mean? That's what I do. I text pretty girls. That's what you gotta do now. Bumble. Do you know Bumble? It's a it's a texting application. That's. It's the one where the girl has to talk to you first. So it's the one where no girls talk at all. Ever. They never, ever talk. They don't say anything. And let me tell you another thing about Bumble. Yeah, there's two other open mics pretty much at the same time as ours. We start the latest. Uh, a lot of people will do three, and sometimes the crowd will kind of suffer because people are like hopping back and forth and running around. But it's cool that people can get three mics in a night pretty easily. Passion, my language is a hobby. Yeah, man. When someone does that to you, it's called catfishing. And ladies and gentlemen, I've been catfished so many times I can have my own boat on that deadliest catch show. That's how many times I've been catfished. And I know what you're saying, guys. That show ain't about fish, it's about crabs. I know, that's what I'm saying. They don't tell you everything, man. Yeah. The other day, my friend got matched with this chick. She had one arm. All of her charts took pictures from to the side. He didn't tell her. Shows up, she's got one arm. And that's fine, he's not a judgmental guy, he just wouldn't have taken her mini golfing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. The day went real well, though. By the end of it, you know, they were holding hand. See what I did there? One hand. All right, that's my time. Thanks, guys.